uh, it's one more month is gone um, this is the seventh month and uh, God was uh, faithful to each one of us that he protected us provided all our needs even though uh, we were going through uh, many troubles and uh, many um, sickness and the people are um, anxious and uh, people are uh, in worries and all through all this tr uh, turbulence God protected us and he gave us his uh, uh, peace in our heart we are we are we are not special people we are we are not special people we are same like other people who who uh, gone through the uh, sickness and uh, uh, job lost or whatever it is but if, if whatever the the situation we gone through god was god gave his uh, everlasting peace in our heart and i thank lord for that uh, first uh, first of all uh, I, once again uh, um, i wish all of you a, a happy independence day we all know that you know today is july 4th and you know the nation is celebrating uh, the independence uh, uh, in, uh, in all over the nation uh, that means you know the this country was under the influence of other country or other people that uh, uh, they got freed from that uh, from that uh, um, um, invasion or you know under the control of the uh, it came out from the control of the other people same way we are here <clears throat> celebrating we are celebrating two independence as a american citizen we are celebrating that and the other side we were under the control of satan uh, devil but uh, we got god jesus freed us uh, from that uh, uh, slaves we were slaves you know from the slavery and we are got free uh, free and you know we are freely worshiping god so thank lord for that too and uh, again uh thank lord uh, uh thank you pastor for the nice word but uh, uh i'm not deserve i'm not worthy to to compare with that person that uh, k abraham i'm a, a very res respected person that you know he was a, a a faithful servant of god um i you know uh, i thank for the good words but uh, i'm not worthy enough to compare with the the uh, the servant of god <coughs> uh, anyway thank you uh as uh, pastor asked me to to, to uh, speak the word of god uh this uh, today for the meeting and i was thinking about what to speak and uh, i was meditating uh the word of god <coughs> so i choose uh the same subject that we are gathering together here today that is the fasting prayer as a prayer uh, my subject is a prayer with action uh, prayer is a very simple thing you know we all know that we all pray that you know uh, we don't have to learn anything about pre uh, prayer or you know teach anything about prayer but there are a lot of uh, misconception and a misunderstanding uh, and uh, about the prayer <clears throat> like what 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 uh, is, uh, is is god is hearing everybody's prayer uh, what should we pray and uh, what we should not pray and uh, how much we need to pray why don't i get answer from my prayers why even though i'm getting i even though i prayed and you know why i'm not getting a positive answer it's a lot of things you know come even as a believers uh we it to come to in our our mind and you know why it is not answering uh, my prayers or why this has happened to me <clears throat> so i just want to uh talk about that uh, i hope that you know the word of god will uh give answer in your heart so <clears throat> when we pray uh, when we talk about the prayer we can divide the prayer into two category that is our, our personal prayer and a, a personal prayer that is individually we are praying every day uh, that is a personal prayer and a prayer of a group or a church uh, these days you know the the, the group prayer is uh, very popular that you know we are uh, gathering together uh, uh, through the phone um, zoom uh, and uh, churches are have prayed that we are doing at, uh, right now uh, 
so that could two kind of prayer we can see that so we we when again you know we are thinking about the prayer what is prayer <clears throat> uh the prayer is the communication to god uh, i i i wanted to compare that you know uh what is the communication uh <clears throat> to god that is a, a as a father uh or we can compare that you know uh, as a as a child is talking to a father he he will talk to the father anything you know he can talk to the father you know he's a, what he want you know um what he wanted to be when he grown up or uh, uh everything you know he he talking to the father and the father is listening and uh, uh listening what he was uh, asking at the end of the time uh he wanted to say something back but you know the child is keep talking and talking and talking and not giving time to father to talk him back uh finally the father is going to ask him no no i don't know what you are talking about or he is going to say hey, give me a break let me talk to you at the same way if we are not <clears throat> we are <clears throat> if we are praying to god and we are not giving time to god that you know speak back that is it won't work it won't work you know we don't listen uh, we, we don't hear anything from the god so the prayer is not a one way talk it's a two way talk you know when you talk to god you know we need to give time to uh uh time to listen the answer of the prayer so if we talk one way that is not a real prayer so then what is a real prayer is expressing our devotion to heavenly father invite him to talk to us as we talk to him so actually the prayer is inviting god to talk to us when we talk god has to say something to us so we need to uh, listen for that every prayer has a answer every prayer has an answer for it but uh, if you are not listening carefully you don't hear the answer for example uh so is a, a seven year old child is asking the, the dad is asking asking him to uh, what do you want to uh for for your birthday and he say that uh, i want a bmw toy car okay so don't surprise that in a 7 year old has for a bmw car you know he has for a toy bmw he like that design or whatever it is i, I want a toy car bmw and father said he says yes okay yeah that's a good good thing you know so ba- father buy s yes, and he you now buy for him when he become you know a little more older and you know become 11 year old and he is going to say a uh, father is going to say same, same thing same thing ask him that uh, hey, what do you want for the uh, your birthday gift and he is he's going to say that uh, it, it, perhaps he say that you know oh dad i've been playing with that bmw car the toy car you know it was very nice so can you buy a real one what the father is going to say is going to say no no uh, okay and the father is going to say son it is good i know that i can buy a car for you but you cannot handle it so i'm not going to buy that and when he become you know 15 years old and you know father ask him that you know uh, what do you want for the birthday and he is going to say that oh dad i've been asking for a bmw car for uh, all this time can you buy for that buy for me and he's going to say wait uh you are 15 years old right now so where why don't you know wait for uh, another uh one year and i am going to send you a good tra- uh, driving school and you know teach you well and i buy a ca- car for you bmw itself and why don't you wait so this is the way our answer is when we are asking god god is giving the answer sometimes it is no sometimes it is a yes <clears throat> sometimes it is <clears throat> wait because god is looking at us that how we can handle that you know the the gift uh, or the the the, uh, the gift we are asking for if we cannot uh, handle that carefully uh, god won't give that so we, that doesn't mean that you know we don't have to ask him we need to pray god that you know our need 
our god is a mighty god uh, our god is a uh is a rich god and he is giving to us according to his, his riches and glory his hands are hands is not short to stretch out to help us his ears are not slow to hear our cries our our request but uh, he is giving us according to his time and according to his will so we need to keep pray uh, uh and uh, us uh, 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 let him know that uh, our our need are uh, the prayer is a is a spinal cord in our spiritual life same like in our body our backbone is the bone that you know make us stand straight or you know something happen to our our spinal cord what will happen our body won't work properly at the same way uh, if, if if someone has a life without enough prayer their life is like a desert it it's like a barren land we won't make a, uh, any fruitfulness in 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 our life so we need a prayer you know we need a prayer we need a prayer is very essential in our in our, our spiritual life same like in our our body mind and spirit we eat food for uh, nourish our body we eat we we learn study or acquiring knowledge for our mind and the uh, spirit is you know with the prayer and you know the word of knowledge uh, 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 the word of god and with the uh, the the spirit of god you know we nourish our our spirit so so i'm asking that you know uh, well, I, i mentioned that you know uh, the person who is uh, is not uh, enough prayer we all pray we all pray that you know uh, but we need to think about that how much we need to pray how, how much how much uh, prayer we need in our life i want to uh, encourage all the youths that you know i remember that you know when i was yeah in my younger stage you know <clears throat> my parents make sure that you know we prayed every day and you know read the bible every day before we go to study table they asked us to uh, read the bible and pray i remember that you know that uh, the days that you know that, that the practice you know i'm asking you that you know our youths i encourage you that you know how much time you spending for prayer before you go to study you know we can these days you know we we, we say that in you know, a lot of excuses you know everybody has you know now i'm not blaming only youths you know <laughs> even adults also or oh, we, we can make in you know, a thousands of excuses or oh, daddy you don't know how much homework i have daddy you don't know how much i have to study i've been study and i didn't finish that and uh, we can say that you know i'm i'm working in a uh, weird schedule you know i'm i'm not in, a, in a, the ha- house in, a, in the evening time and uh, i'm not i cannot make it you know i'm busy with my life so i don't have time to uh time to pray but the sweet, sweetest thing is we can pray any time we don't have to go to uh, uh uh to anywhere we don't have a need a mediator to pray we can pray any time whenever you are you are at home you are to work even whenever you are getting time and you can pray we can see that you know the people have have a discipline in their prayer life that you know um daniel daniel were were pray uh, pray he had an uh, discipline that you know pray three times a day from the morning uh, um, uh, in a, and uh, noon and in the evening so we need to pray in the morning when you get up from the bed and you know first you know we need to uh, pray instead of taking our phones phones into our hands you know we need to take a bible and we need to uh, i'm 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 preaching myself too so uh, don't think that and i'm i'm blaming someone that uh, so we need to take the bible and sit down in the presence of god and pray uh, pray to god because prayer is a powerful weapon against the devil who is our enemy so we uh, so we, we will will not fall into the temptation of this world so when we getting up in the morning 
we are praying why we are praying because you know you're asking God that you know God uh, uh, don't let me to fall into the temptation of this world when we see when we look in our uh, 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 Matthew chapter 6 13 Jesus taught the disciples and uh, the multitude he called that people uh, came to listen his sermon and the disciples were also there and you know teach them how to pray uh, Matthew chapter uh, 6 13 uh, verse 13 uh, it says bring us not into the temptations but uh, deliver us from the evil that he, even Jesus was praying that you know bring us not into the temptations but deliver from all the evils we know that you know devil came to test tempt you know Jesus three times you know uh, devil came even if a if, uh, devil came to Jesus to three times you know how many times you know easily he can attack us or tempt us in our, in our life so if one if anyone is sinning to God evil evil or devil is is the cause to bring that temptation into our life, our heart and make us to do sin so that's why we are praying every day in the morning Lord I give my life to you I give my life to you you direct me you give, show me the path today to walk do not let uh, devil tempt me and deliver from all the evil so let's pray like that so we should pray every day and every hour every minute in that prayer, prayer into our life uh, and it, Jesus wants us that wake up and pray so you won't fall into temptation in the night and in the day it doesn't matter we have to be pray to uh, to uh, to not to fall into the temptation of devil so we should pray uh, every time every minute every hour without stopping without give up and uh, Jesus commanded uh, us uh, to pray without ceasing without give up in Luke chapter 18 1 uh, Jesus commanded us to pray all time uh, and the second uh, the second another thing of uh, prayer or the benefit of the prayer is prayer take away our anxiety or worries sometimes we all are worried and we all are anxious about our 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 future our family our children our job all kind of worries we have but uh, if you worried about things the worries added more worries into our life it won't solve any problem so what we need to do is uh, the book of Philippians chapter 4 6 says in nothing be anxious but in everything by power by prayer and uh, supplication with the thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God while, uh, while pastor was uh, giving a small uh, message uh, on Wednesday he he, um, he mentioned that word and uh, um, in nothing be anxious but in everything by prayer and supplication with uh, thanksgiving let your request be made known to God if we do that the seventh verse says the peace of God which passes all understanding shall guard your heart and your thoughts in Christ Jesus so again once again you know if you are going through something we don't if you worried about more about it you know it is more uh, what is added unto uh, us we don't get any any solution for that instead we trust in the God with the Thanksgiving uh, we request our, our uh, um, your request made known to God whatever the situation we are going through whatever the the problem we are going through without any intermediate we can go to the throne of grace and you know tell our God that God I'm going through this because God knows that you know nothing is hidden in front of him so God knows that but you have to tell tell him that you know give solution for that and God will deliver us from that all the trouble and uh, in Matthew 
chapter 11, 28 says, if anyone uh, worry and burden with your own yoke, put that down and take, take his yoke, which is easy and uh, light. So if we are carrying our problems, if we are carrying like a, the heavy yoke in our, in, our, in our shoulder, instead put that down, trust in the Lord and he will deliver from all the, all the troubles. Another thing is the prayer is the responsibility to pray for others. Prayer is a responsibility for prayer for, prayer for others. When Jesus was teaching his disciples and a multitude to how to pray, he taught to pray to call call uh, our father it's our father even though jesus was calling god the almighty that you know his father so it is not a, even though we have a personal relationship with god that is our personal father it is our god whoever believes in god the uh, god of god the almighty is uh, everybody's father so otherwise you know we are in a in the same family we are brothers and sisters we are siblings under one family one 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 father so it is our responsibility to pray for all the people all over the world and uh, all over the uh, all over the uh, all over the earth whoever it is you know we need to pray for uh, for everyone so uh, the, we need to pray for everyone that who are who, who, who are in the difficulties who are in trouble who are in sickness and we, we should pray for them we should pray for the other countries we pray for our our nations and uh, all over the people uh, around this uh, earth at the same time you know that this is our responsibility to pray for others and uh, at the same time it is our responsibility to share share our blessings what we got from our our father we got uh, many blessings you know we received from god that we need to responsibly to share that also for example you know if i i brought a chocolate and i give it to uh, Ju jewel i know she is very nice and uh, uh she's supposed to she not supposed to eat that in a chocolate bar herself she need to share with her siblings and the family members i don't say that you know you go to share everyone but she's supposed to but i um uh, uh, but in mind uh, that you know i think that you know she has to share with the other siblings and the same way if god is giving us the blessings we are responsible to share that the main gift what we got that the the gift of salvation uh and uh, that the peace and the joy what what we are got from uh god we are responsible to uh share with the other, share with others whatever the the blessings that the materially material or spiritual or whatever it is we are responsible to uh, share with others. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning that, you know, we can categorize or, you know, we, we can divide it into uh, the prayer into two. Uh, so one, one is an individual prayer and uh, the second one is the group prayer. So I, I would like to bring some people who were prayed individually to God and if God answer their prayers in a different way. God is answering the, 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 the answers. God is answering the prayers in a different way. Not, not in the same way. When we look uh, around and you know, we, we pray that you know, we wanted the same way the other brother got it or other person got it. But that is not the way God is answering our prayers. We can see that in the book of Genesis chapter 21, 16 and 17. Uh, we, they are uh, talking about the Hagar. We all know that story. I'm not going through that the whole story. That the Hagar was a servant of Abraham and uh, Sarah. Uh, and uh, one day, 
when uh, uh, Abraham got the promised son uh, Isaac, uh, Sarah told Abraham to uh, send her off, uh, Hagar sent her off to uh, from the house, and uh, Ab Abraham gave a bottle of water and a uh, um, few uh, bread, and he sent her off. While she was going out, and uh, after she finished all the water and food, and you know she was in the end, ended up in the desert. That's a uh, Bersheba desert. Uh, she finished all the water, and you know she was going to die. And uh, she laid down her son into a shadow of the tree, and uh, she came far, and you know started to pray and cried and pray. She was not just praying, and she cried and prayed. And God answered her prayer. Not the, the Bible says, you know, uh, uh, God heard the son's prayer, son's cry, his child's cry. But God delivered them uh, from that situation, and God opened a stream for her. Before. When we look at, look on the chapter, you can see that before God opened that stream for her, it says God opened her eyes. We know that I, I was thinking about that, you know, I was reading and, you know, fi uh, find out why did God listen the uh, the Lord's cry. It says, you know, that his child was crying, God hear that. We not think that, you know, the child was crying or their Hagar was crying. Why didn't Hagar? Uh, why didn't God hear ha Hagar's cry? Um, it, sometimes you know we cannot answer. Uh, we cannot find an answer for that. You know, I think that you know many situations. Uh, you know, she was a servant of the house, and uh, uh, Abraham uh, was waiting for a child that you know God promised him, and he was eighty-six years old, and he was. Complaining that, or you know, telling Sarah that you know, why don't we have a child yet? You know, God promised us, uh, but we didn't get the child yet. And Sarah find a short sh a shortcut to ask you know Abraham to go to uh, Hagar and have a child. That's what uh, uh, Ishmael is born. Uh, well. Then uh, finally, when uh, when uh, when she became pregnant, and you know, Hagar became pregnant, and she hated Sarah, and they had a conflict in the family, and they were fighting each other. And uh, what I was thinking that you know why why don't why we cannot judge anyone that but uh, uh, why I was thinking it came to the thought came to my heart is that when Sa uh, Hagar was as a servant of that house, and uh, when the when uh, Abraham came to her. She she could stop that temptation, you know. Uh, she she could tell that, you know, hey, master, you are my master, you know. You don't have you you cannot have me as a wife. And she can tell Sarah. She could tell Sarah that, you know, that is not right. You know, tell your husband that, you know, that is not right. What she was doing, you know, God gave a promise to you. Why don't you wait? You know, there there was a lot of circumstances that, you know, she could tell, even though she was a servant, you know, to to. Uh, Tell Abraham and Sarah, but instead she had a bad intention in their heart that maybe uh, that if you have a child with Abraham, she can have that whole wealth of Abraham, or she can his his child is going to be the the the, the next generation of the uh, of the earth. So his intention was maybe not right. So God was not listening her prayer. And you know, God was but a, the cry from the uh, uh, the child came to God's ear, and you know, God answered that. And moreover, that when we look on that uh, the place Bersheba is a is a, the meaning of the Bersheba is uh, the wells of seven. There are seven wells around there, and she was sitting in the middle of the. Uh, seven worlds and you know crying to God that you know God my water is out that's why it says that you know I think you know God says you know God opened her eyes first to see the stream 
So this is a many. This is the way we also pray to God. There are many opportunities around us. There are many people who are needed help in spiritually, mentally, and physically. But we don't see that. Instead, we were praying for our Lord, or bring more souls to in our church, bring more souls, send a revival to us, or fill up our chairs of the church. We pray like that, but we don't see that. You know what the the the, the blessings God given us, what's the uh, the sources God given us in our hand, and everything has in in our hand. But still, uh, we are praying for. Uh, more blessings or without uh, acting like we didn't see that so when we pray we need to open our eyes and see what what, what uh, we, uh, uh, we can say that you know we have more than seven wells around us but still we are praying for a uh, uh, god god for help so instead of doing that you know instead of praying like that you know what we need to do that you know ask god that god help me to reach the people reach out the people and you know bring them uh, to the kingdom of god or you know help help us help us to use the sources you gave it to me help us to uh, equip me that you know to do your will through my life if we pray like that god will use us and it will be a uh, benefit for the uh, other people usually uh, what we are giving are giving a in a big list to uh, god uh and uh, waiting in the uh, couch or lazy couch you know to get the lord god need to do all these things for me same like you know we are going to a grocery shopping you know someone who is uh, the doing the buying the grocery store you know give a good list and you know you buy all the stuff same way we give a uh, big list to god and you know god do all this for me and let me sit down and then relax that's the way it is but it is not that way we need a uh, submit ourselves uh offer ourselves to god to do his will through through our life uh we had we had seen that you know many people are cried and you know god answer their prayers uh and then another person is uh, hannah hannah cried and uh, prayed and she answered her prayer Anna was also a barren woman she was asking for a child and uh, uh god opened her womb and you know give a raise the prophet samuel to that to the nation uh not only for her god gave samuel to the nation because that that, that time that that time when we are reading that you know we can understand that you know that time the nation was very wicked they were they, they are going through very wicked time and uh, even the the children of the the prophet eli was also they they also were wicked so there is no way to lead the people in a, in the right way that time god raised samuel or god give a birth to samuel and you know use him as a, a prophet into that nation and uh, we can see that another person the king ezekiah was cried and prayed and he was a righteous person righteous king and uh, god extended his life for uh, 15 years and uh, once again uh, 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 king david cried and prayed many times and uh, god delivered him god answered his prayers in uh, uh, psalm 34 we can see that when he was in front of abimelech Abimelech was trying to kill him and uh, he act like a insane person in front of uh, Abimelech and you know he's running away uh, so that's the reason you know Abimelech leave him alone he could not kill him so when he was running back from that situation and uh, uh, he sang a song that is sub 34 it says this poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him from out of all the troubles so yeah the people who cried the personally individually they prayed for their uh, uh for uh, their their trouble god saved them god helped them and uh, we can see that many examples in the in the old testament and new testament uh, there are 
many people prayed and uh, uh, God delivered them. Yeah, uh, Jabez pray, prayed and you know, uh, Job prayed and many people we can say that I don't have time to uh, go through that so I'm, I'm stopping there. Uh, then you can come back to, I want to bring your attention to uh, Acts, uh, the book of Acts chapter 12, uh, 5 to 7. Uh, here in the, in the New, New Testament, uh, here we can see that Peter was present and the church was constantly prayed for him and delivered him from the hands of the king. Uh, we all know that story. Uh, Peter was uh, in the jail and the Jewish people were uh, the king and you know was planning to kill him. But it is it was a miracle that uh, the angels of the Lord appeared into that prison and they took him out from the prison uh, and uh, saved him. God sent their, uh, his angels to them and uh, saved him because there was a group of people were sitting in the room and praying for him uh, to deliver uh, Peter from that prison. So if you are praying uh, like a group there is, there is more strength in that, in that prayer. God cannot sit still when we are praying together. When we pray together, we have more power in it. So we can see that uh, another example that, you know, when the people of Israel, Israel, Israel they were under the cap captivity of uh, uh, Egypt. There is no way they cannot any other way to escape from the uh, the hands of Pharaoh. They were working hard and they were uh, doing, the, the uh, Pharaoh was torturing them, they didn't have enough food and uh, they cried and cried. Finally, they all cried together, asked God that that, that, uh, that prayer came to God's ear and uh, God delivered them quickly out from there. So when we are praying uh, uh, group, as, as a group, God will, God will listen and, you know, act quickly. Our God is an uh, uh, omnipotent God. He is a Sarvasaktanaya Devamananamda Devam. So He is uh, omniscient. He is omnipotent. Nothing is impossible to our God. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so these days we need more prayer than forever because we are going through a, a time that we never face in our life. So we need more prayer. We need more prayer with the tears. Uh, we are, you know, th th these days, you know, when we are praying, you know, we don't, have, we don't, we don't, the tears won't come from our, out from our, our eyes. We are, what we are, uh, I was talking about, you know, that people were cried and, you know, prayed. That's what, you know, they all said that. This, because I, I think, you know, people think, some, some people or people think that, you know, crying is a, Weakness of people. Actually, it is not. When we are uh, crying, is not a weakness. Uh, when when the the the, sen uh, the emotion comes through our eyes like tears, because we have the uh, heavy heart in our in our heart, the heaviness in our heart. That that that's the reason the tears come out. So. Bible says that, you know, if you pray with a broken heart, God will help you. So when we pray with the tears, that tears also, the Bible says that, you know, God will collect the tears and keep it in the jar and the reward according to the, the tears, what we pour out. <coughs> so uh, we need a pray. Uh, through, uh, uh, we need to pray with the tears these days. Uh, in uh, Psalms uh, 34, 34, 18 says, The Lord is close to the broken heart, hearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Uh, Psalms 34, 18 says that the Lord is close to the broken hearted and to save those who are crushed in spirit. So these days 
we can submit ourselves, go to the throne of grace and, you know, uh, pray with the tears. And one more thing I wanted to say and, you know, uh, stop my uh, message here. Uh, do God not listen our prayers? That's a question. Do God listen our prayers? Do not listen our prayers? Yeah, the Bible says that, you know, God will not hear our prayers in two cases. If we pray for a wrong intention and who pray with the pride. Psalms 34 says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. But in the face of the Lord, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one second and let me read that verse. Uh, Psalms 34, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to the, their cry. But the grace of the Lord is against those who do evil. Whoever do evil things and you know go to prayer, go, go to the Lord and you know pray, God won't listen to that. And the second uh, person we said that you know the, the person who is praying with the pride. We can see that uh, in the book of uh, uh, the book of Luke chapter 18, 9, verse 9 to 14. We can see there as a tax collector and a Pharisee is praying there. What the Pharisee is comparing to the tax collector and uh, praying to God that God, I'm a better person than him. Um, I'm, I'm doing good things to, uh, to the community. I'm paying tithe and I'm, I'm a righteous person. He's pride about that, his righteousness and he praying. And uh, on the other hand, as tax collector is praying that, uh, Lord, I don't, I'm, I'm not worthy to, to come to your presence. I don't have, I don't deserve to come to your throne of grace. But I'm here because of your grace. When you, when he pray that, and the other, other side, you know, Pharisees, Pharisees pray, praying that, you know, He's showing that uh, uh, his, his pride of righteousness. So God, uh, Jesus said that, you know, he already got the answer of the prayer. That means, you know, uh, we cannot compare uh, with the other people when we pray because we are talking to our father. God knows our heart. We don't know when we look from outside, uh, we can we can say many things, you know, we can judge other people, but that, that won't be true. But, but God is the one, you know, seeing that uh, 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 our heart. For example, you know, we, and I mentioned about, the, you know, uh, when Hannah was praying, even the priest could not understand, understand you know, why, he, uh, what, what she was doing. And she was crying and crying and pouring their heart to God. And the priest was asking him, are you drunk? And she said that it's, it's, it's only in the morning, seven o'clock, or what time is it? The morning time, not even a uh, time to, to to not in a mood to drink. So, so we see dead like that in other people. It is not true. So, do not compare, do not judge to other people. But God knows their heart. Uh, uh, so let uh, leave to God, and. Uh, uh, I just want to close over here, so uh, to come to uh, come to the point that you know. So if he want to hear, uh, if God want to hear our 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 prayer, we need to humble down ourselves and ask God that uh, ask ask God for the forgiveness and ask God that uh, God help me, equip me to do your your will through my life. So let us humble down once again in this morning at his feet. Know that who, to whom we are, speak, uh, we are praying and thank him what we have, already have in our, in our life and ask God, God's will to fulfill in our, in our life. Pray with the tears, pray with the broken heart, pray for others. 
let's open our eyes and see what god has blessed us with uh, within and ask god to use and equip us to do his will may god bless this words amen praise god hallelujah thank